Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix. And, of course, welcome back to the ever-prosperous village of Lathsburg. In today's episode, we're going to be finishing off the watchtower, and we're going to be prettying up the bridge. Or at least, that's our current goal, as honestly, ever since we've made the bridge, it's been a bit of an eyesore, and I've simply been ignoring it, which has made it slowly worse over time as bits of stuff have got stuck on top. There, there's actually a glitched section somewhere in the middle, which actually I can't see right now, so maybe the save actually fixed that, and we still haven't actually completed a true entrance way. So I'm going to remove this piece of wood, most likely, if it's actually safe to do so, which I'm a little bit concerned it might not be, since this is a little bit bugged out. A lot of people have told me perhaps I should just go into the console console commands to be um, deleting the scaffolding and sections of wall which have simply glitched out, but I want to try and avoid that if possible. I will only resort to the console commands if I absolutely have to. So, let's unpause the game and let's allow our, our halflings to continue their work on the watchtower. I will say, something at the moment is causing a lot of lag. I'm getting this horrible stop and start lag, even when on the slower speed. So, going to try and find the cause of that. There's a good chance it's something to do with the mining effort in addition to everything else, and it's simply the game's engine not keeping up with how much is going on. Which would be a shame, but this game is known to suffer from quite a few issues like that. It's not exactly optimised well at the moment, still being quite early in the alpha. Well, I'll be right back once the tower is looking a little bit more like a tower, and a little bit less like a lump of stone. Or at least, a small lump of stone. It seems like a lot of the commenters who were suggesting using the console commands to destroy the scaffolding and other pieces of bugged out building around the town were actually having very similar issues to the ones I've been experiencing, with buildings not being able to actually be destroyed despite reloading the game several times, um, bits of scaffolding randomly glitching out halflings, making them walk in the air and just ultimately become stuck, and other such problems like that. So I think it's only fair that I pass on my very very limited knowledge about the console commands in Stonehearth, so that if people have a very similar problem to the ones I've been having, you can fix it yourself as well. It's only fair we spread on the knowledge. So to open the console command window, you simply press Ctrl and C, although that this may differ depending on what keyboard you actually have, so if that doesn't work, I would recommend googling it. After this, you simply target the building you wish, you wish to destroy, such as this scaffolding, and then put in destroy. Simple as that, it is now gone. And then you just repeat until all of the broken buildings are destroyed. Now one thing to note is that you will not get any materials back for doing this. There are definitely different commands you can do which have different results on buildings, but I would rather not look into them right now. I know one command, destroy. Which honestly is probably one of the least useful for advancing our, our status in this world. So I'll be right back once everything is cleaned up and hopefully our lovely tower is looking a bit more like a tower. Well, it didn't take too long, and now all of the offending scaffolding has been removed. I've left as much as possible, because like I've said before, I do actually really like the look of the scaffolding. It makes the whole thing look a little bit more fortified, and a little bit more lived in, which I do very much appreciate. But when it's causing glitches, and ultimately causing my life to be a bit more of a hassle than it has to be, it really isn't worth it. Now, I did find out something a little bit sad, and and it turns out that I have made this in a very silly fashion. The bridge itself is technically the same building as the entire wall segment, so removing just the bridge is, well, absolutely impossible without removing everything else. The only thing we can try, perhaps, although I really don't think this will happen, is perhaps using the clear tool, but I don't think that actually works on buildings. No, I am fairly certain that is not working on a building. Okay, so that's a bit of a shame. I really have no way to truly remove this bridge, so we have to work with what we've got. I was hoping to perhaps have, a, have more of a raised bridge, have the entrance wire go up a little bit before going across and then simply go down, giving it a bit more depth and honestly a bit more purpose. And hello, there are goblins. 
It seems like recently the attacks from basically any enemy type have just almost gone. Occasionally there's a stone golem or something spawning, but in comparison to earlier on, there just isn't anything. But even with that being said, is there anything we can actually upgrade our longsword into? Well, we could have the two-handed sword, or the short sword, or the long sword. There we are. So that's what we need to actually make some long swords. At the moment, I believe everybody is using the short sword. So this has more reach. You have extra reach and a bit more extra damage. So that's exactly what we're going to be going with. And look at that. Thankfully, this is why I have two parties now rather than just one party. So this fellow can kill the wolf before it kills half of my citizens. Never underestimate goblin wo- oh, never mind, they're going back anyway. Most laggy walk possible. Yeah, the amount of halflings we have now is actually causing so many problems, I've got to say, right now, we need to stop. Maximum citizens, 30. I don't want any more than this. This is the absolute limit I am willing to take, and honestly, I don't know if you remove people if you go under the limit. Like, if I said, maximum citizens 20, do you just lose 20- sorry, do you just lose 10 people, or are you stuck with the people you've already got? Either way, let's leave it on 30, just for now. There's a kind of hypnotizing beauty in terms of how the halflings build. It's the most erratic, illogical, amazing achievement of basic engineering I've ever seen. So they built scaffolding all the way around the edge in order to build this scaffolding, then put this scaffolding down, and then started working on the center. After working on the center, they put this scaffolding down and then put it back up in order to put the outside scaffolding back up, in which they got stuck on for a good two minutes, in which I had to make a ladder to get to the top, in which they finally built this section, and now it seems like they're taking down the scaffolding. No, they're, they're now upping the scaffolding even more, despite the fact this section is now done, and after this it goes up on the inside, meaning you don't need the outside scaffolding. Is the word scaffolding becoming weird to anyone but me? Were you successful in your hunt? Yes, you were. Did you get me the short sword? No, because you're dumb. Ooh, a long sword! Never mind, you're not- oh wait, no. Is there a long sword than a steel long sword variant? Because if that's true, then your short swords are still going to be better. No, it's just called Longsword. Excellent, which means... Well done, lads! You killed an enemy which dropped something actually useful. That's like the first time that's happened in quite some time. Well done, all of you, especially... Where are you? You. You there. Sen. Zenta. Sen Zenta. Oh my lord, that is a fantastic name. You've earned your title, Zenta. He is now our head of security. At least for now. It's a pretty empty title, honestly, but it'll make him feel better at night, and occasionally does earn him an extra carrot. What are you doing? But you've already built this! Why so many ladders?! It's like a weird jellyfish fortress. Jellyfish tower. That's what we're calling it now. Okay. But what? You have scaffolding on the inside you can use! Oh, halflings. This is why you need an evil overlord to control you all! Which I am taking the part of very happily. Did you just build that scaffolding to build- No, you are- put But I saw that going down. I don't know what's going on. But there is an enemy! We will call him John. Hello, John. We'll just wait for you to get here, then the soldiers will automatically butcher you horribly. That looks really ominous in the background when you've actually got him selected. Faster. Run. His eyes. That's what it is. Because because when you get further back, the line doesn't seem to really thin out as much, the outline. But, of course, the body itself shrinks. So, the eyes are... Scl You're not going to kill that, are you? I think he's actually after the fox. You're oh, no, it's a pet fox! Is it? Oh no! He's going to kill the adorable little fox! Why is my pet fox out there? Is a question I don't ask very often. Run! I mean, a friend of mine did have a pet fennec fox. Fennec? 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 Fen I, I don't know how to pronounce that. 
The fox with the really big ears and really light pale coat, which are adorable and desert dwelling. He had one for like six years before having to give it up. It was adorable. Well, let's just stop the command for a second. Let's try again. And go! And lag! This can only end well. Um, other party, get here because this party doesn't seem to want to help out his li Please don't say you're... No, it's okay. It's only Zand Creed. He's not the leader, therefore we do not care about his life. We can always replace him. No, not gonna... Okay. Move here! Stop! Save and reload! Honestly, at this stage, I think it's safe to say we have a new leader of the guard. Mr. Creed here is single-handedly killing the stone golem. Well done, sir. Also, I'm going to stop using times four speed now because the amount of lag it is generating is ungodly. Also, finally! Now you help! You- no, you get none of the credit. No one likes you anymore. Only Mr. Creed here is our leader. We like Creed. Creed is our friend. Where's our old leader? No. No. Right at the back, you coward, Mr. Zenter. I thought you to be brave. To be a soldier to be respected, but sadly not. You just allow your minions, your friends, to do the work for you. I must say, I'm rather disgusted. Also, oh my lord, why are they doing this? This isn't even a difficult project. What are you guys... D I don't... I don't understand. Why? Why you do this? I'll be right back after just looking at this in dismay. I'm hoping the lag will go away once the mining operation has slowed down a bit. It could be all the entities we're creating, honestly. Hmm. I could do that. Is I'm going slice mode instead so I can actually see what I'm doing. You remove. Then just loot all of this. I mean, it could be how many we've got down here. It could be the fact all of our halflings are working down here. So it means they're constantly creating more. That They have to path and everything. And there's a whole host of reasons why this is probably causing problems whilst we're still building as well. So maybe that'll help, possibly, perhaps, in a special sort of way? Unsurprisingly, all of this amazing scaffolding work has completely drained us of our log stores, so it's time for a new deforestization project. I would perhaps attempt to rebuild this with a door, but honestly at the moment, I think there's enough commands for the halflings and I am worrying for the game simply crashing. It did earlier. So please, halflings. Obey me just this once, get those logs, build up this, and make our lovely little island a beautiful one. And for some reason, I was going to call this a tree. After completely encasing the building in scaffolding, at last they've started building the next section of the tower. Why all this scaffolding was necessary, I'm still not 100% sure about. For a while, I thought it was because I didn't have enough windows or doors, or perhaps there was something missing they were waiting for, and they were overcompensating by trying to work on the building without the necessary materials, and so they just kept on doing whatever they could do, which was just just make scaffolding. That was definitely not the case. I have over 10 now of these windows just waiting, and I need to have four more, I think, for the next layer and one door. Now I'm just waiting for them to pick up the logs. I have told them to do nothing else. I have cancelled all other requests. I am just waiting for one of them to walk over here, get some more logs, and continue the build. They still are remarkably reluctant to do any task which is too far away, and apparently this is too far away. I could cut down one of the trees here just to kickstart things, but honestly I don't want to do that. I like the fact that Laughingham Island actually has a little bit of greenery still, and I don't want to ruin that just because I'm a little bit impatient and bored waiting for this to be built. 
Naturally, I was mistaken. We still need scaffolding in order for the halflings to get a little bit higher to actually build up the wall. At least this time it is pretty warranted. The scaffolding is needed so that they can climb up to the top and actually place the blocks required. So that's okay. At least this time it makes sense. Mostly, although they still use way too much of it. And I think once again we have run out of oak logs because they're just not collecting them. No matter how much I stop buildings and start them, they are refusing to collect from this far away, and I have actually had to sacrifice one of our trees. Now, I'm not too sad about that, honestly, because this is a space we can use for other buildings. I'm not quite sure what exactly can go here, but honestly, we did need the space, so it's not too, too bad. Also, adorable chickens. That makes us happy, right? Look! Adorable chickens eating chicken feed. Chicken feed, rather. Alas, I was very much mistaken. At least this time, the scaffolding actually makes sense, as it's needed to place the higher levels of stone. It still means, however, we are once again out of oak logs, or wood logs, whatever they're actually called. They are indeed called oak logs, because they're just refusing to actually pick them up. Apparently cutting down the trees are okay, but picking up the logs afterwards? Insanity. There's also this fellow here. Maybe if we clear you out, we can get to his chest as well. Likely nothing really of interest there, but even so. If we're lucky, there might be something shiny. I like shiny. Oh, I'm sorry. You seemed really peaceful until we took you down to half health. Now I feel like we're perhaps the evil people. There was also a goblin that spawned. What do we get? We got silver... And we got a little bit of steel. Nothing really too much of interest there. And cancel. Although it looks like you've already cancelled because you've killed everything. Just in case, I have now pressed the cancel button. Haha! -ha! Can someone please get some oak logs from somewhere? Look! There's one here! It's not quite that far away! Surely, halflings, you can pick up this oak log! Yes! Do it! Do what I told you to! Thank you! Thank you so much! I think it could possibly be, be the tunnel confusing them. Perhaps their pathfinding just isn't good enough for that. I mean, it's very plausible, honestly, after seeing the insanity they go through to avoid doing certain tasks. And then scaffold building, because scaffolds. If this episode isn't called something about scaffolds in the title, I'm going to be really disappointed with, with future Lathrex. A sight I thought I would never see. At last, they are removing the scaffolding. The scaffolding is being destroyed, thus revealing the tower in all of its glory, which also means we're going to have to do this. Not that it really helps at the moment, but we do need to actually add some ladders on the inside so that they can get around after all the scaffolding has been removed. Also... Why didn't they place the windows and stuff yet? Once again, I definitely have them in stock. The diamond windows and the reinforced doors. Go to inventory, and there we are. Diamond window frame, and wooden double door, and reinforced wooden door. That is definitely the correct ones, isn't it? Yep, and yep. Hmm. Curious that I'd leave that until after the scaffolding is removed. Not that I'm going to complain, mind you. The scaffolding has been a weird experience. I've almost lost my mind several times today, just dealing with scaffolding being created everywhere, and then people, well, halflings, not wanting to deal with it. There we go! Now they're adding it all. Oh, glorious. We're so close. We're so very close. And then ladders there, which means now afterwards they should be able to get up and down. Should. There's probably an easier way to go up and down on, in the building, but I don't know what it is. Oh, and of course we are getting some of the logs back. Nope. I'll be honest, what ended up saving us is the fact a merchant came by with 20 oak logs. It was glorious. I bought them all out so quickly. I have never bought an item in any game quite as quickly as I, as I bought the logs off that trader. 
They had even completely covered the inside of the building with scaffolding. I didn't even realize they did that, so they must have done that when I wasn't paying attention. Which is most of the time, to be honest, so that's hardly surprising. Well, there we go. At long last, with a lot of micromanaging and a lot of me looking at the halflings and quite honestly being a bit confused by their actions, the tower is complete. And it even has a couple of lights on the top because honestly I just think that looks way better and I wanted to make sure the halflings could actually get to the top if needed, as I still want to make the top section up here some form of armory using the vaults or whatever they're actually called which are made by the blacksmith. There we are, the vault. We do need some gold, which I'm currently not smelting, purely because I didn't have enough oak logs to do that. And if I did that, then well, we couldn't have finished off the scaffolding, now could we? So with that, and one single light missing to annoy you, thank you so much for watching. I would love to start building the bridge right now, but that took way too much time, and I am just completely out of time for today's recording. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video then of course likes favorite shares comments all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel and most importantly shows that stone hearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future honestly i think the next video will be the final episode in this season i've really enjoyed myself honestly even with the glitches and the weirdness this is a game i adore and will continue to follow throughout its development but now with one episode to go it's all almost time to bid farewell to this version of the alpha. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.